so this is the part four of Debrugger University BSc Physics paper solution. Uh, here we are solving digital system and application. Okay, C seven paper C seven digital system and applications of twenty twenty third semester. Okay, so let's continue and. Uh, the links of the previous lectures are given in the description box so please go through them and uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new videos will be uploaded and share with your friends hit the thumbs up button as well so now let's start so this is the question number six here yeah. draw a logic diagram of multiplexer and uh, explain it so here you see what does a uh, multiplexer mean it is actually combinational uh, you know circuit that selects binary information from one of many input lines okay from one of many input lines and directs uh, directs it to a single input line okay the selection of particular uh, input line is controlled by the set of selection lines and normally there are 2 to the n input lines for n selection that means you have uh, five selections then uh, input line should be 2 to the power 5 right so here you see uh, we have here one selection so input line so we have two input lines right so 2 to the power 1 that is 2 two input lines so this is the logic gate of uh, the multiplexer yeah. this is the logic diagram of uh, you know uh, of 2 to 1 line multiplexer 2 2 1 line multiplexer okay so as question in the question it is not mentioned what kind of uh, multiplexer we need to so here two to one line or four to one line you can make four to one line also so so just i have taken uh, for simplicity two to one line okay so here you see what happens actually so now let me explain here that uh, this circuit has two data input lines here you can see i0 and i1 right uh, two inputs the uh, line and uh, one output line this is the one out output line and uh, here you can see that uh, you also have a selection line this is the selection line right so when s is equal to 0 when s is equal to 0 when s is equal to 0 then what will happen the upper n gate is enabled and n not has a path to the output right so here you can see when this s is zero then this because here you can see when s is zero so this is not get right this is not get so here input is zero in this uh, second n gate right and for the first end gate this is end gate right end gate this is also end gate right uh, there is a not gate this is not get not get so if you put zero here then uh, in this line in the selection line so input will be here one right according to two table of not get because in not get what happens if you put uh, zero then result should be one if you want put one then you uh, this result should be zero right so hope you know these things so now you see let me clean the things so then if here the selection is one and then this i naught uh, is uh, has a path to the output it has a path to the output because now here you see the input through the selection line is one okay but in the second case here the, as we have put a zero s is equal to zero selection line is selected digit is zero so that's why as this is n gate so in case of n gate both should be one right then you will get uh, input one sorry output one so as we have put here zero so here uh, you know uh, this n gate doesn't uh, allow a pass this uh, i1 input to the output right so hope you have understood this now if you put s is equal to 1 then what happens so let me clean these things so if your selection line uh, if you choose the uh, digit 
1 right uh, if you select the digit s is equal to 1 then what happens if you put here 1 then this 1 this is n gate so so for this n gate so i1 and here the input is 1 that's why this n gate will allow this n uh, i1 to uh, allow a pass to i1 to the output right mm -hmm. so hope you have understood this and here you can say this is or gate right so if you if you uh, if one not is uh, i not is allowed then the result will be i not and if i1 is allowed then result will be i1 right so hope you have understood this so let me write the uh, let me write the truth table for this uh, logic diagram so what gonna be the truth table for this let me show you so when your selection is zero then your result is i naught and when your selection is one then your result is one right this is a truth table uh, truth table for this uh, you know multiplexer okay two to one multiplexer right so as i have already explained all the things here this is the figure a and this is suppose figure so b. here is the explanation you have to write these things uh, and this is a, a figure a means this one this is the logic diagram this is in figure and this is figure b figure b is uh, let me show you figure b is not there so let me show you the figure b figure b figure b is uh, the block diagram let me show you the block diagram. so here is a block diagram this is figure b right this is figure b okay so this is the block diagram for multiplexer okay so here is the explanation all about the multiplexer just take a screenshot or you may pause the video or note it down okay so now let's go to the next so this is our next question question number seven state the rules for binary subtraction there are four rules let me write the rules and those four rules are 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 0 minus 1 gives 1 with borrow 1 okay with a borrow 1 so we need to take borrow to subtract 1 from 0 right with the borrow of 1 the next rule is 1 minus 0 that's going to be 1 then 1 minus 1 that's going to be 0 right so these are the four rules of binary subtraction so now now here you see uh, let me explain uh, this one's complement and two's complement method okay using these two method uh, how we can subtract one number one binary number from another uh, using examples okay uh, with examples i'm going to show in the next page here you can see binary subtraction using of uh, one's complement method for example let me take example here suppose we need to subtract these two numbers uh, we need to subtract 1010 zero, one, zero from from suppose 1111 one, one, one. we need to subtract these two okay we need to subtract this one from this one okay so that means one 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 then one zero one zero right so the first number from which we need to subtract that should be kept unseen one 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 and the number to be subtracted okay so we need to subtract this one from this one that means we need to do this right we need to find it so this number we need to take the first complement so uh, sorry once complement how to take once complement how to take once complement once complement just change the 0 to 1 1 to 0 okay that's gonna give you the once complement so first uh, 0 from the right hand side it becomes 1 next is 1 so it becomes 0 then it is 0 then it becomes 1 then it is 1 then it becomes 0 so that's very simple that's how we need to take first complement sorry once complement so now we add we need to add these two numbers okay so here one plus one that's going to be 
10, right? 1 plus 1, that's going to be 10, and 1 carry. Then carry 1 plus 1, that's going to be 10 again. Then again 1 carry, 1 plus 1, 10 plus 1, 11. That's uh, 1, 1, actually, not 11, 1, 1. So then 1 is carried, then 1 plus carry 1, that's going to be 10, right? So here you see, uh, the, this number before performing zero make sure that they have same number of bits so you have a number like this suppose you have another number like this then you have to make this uh, you have a put uh, you have to put a zero here to make the bits uh, you know equal number of bits should be equal okay so here we are getting extra bit that is one so it is carried so this carried one this carry one should be added again right this carry one should be added carry one should be added is added right then you're gonna get this result zero one zero one so this is your result of uh, one 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 minus one zero one zero right so this is your answer right this is these are binary numbers right let me write this way so this is your answer okay so when there is carry the result is positive if uh, let me show you another example where result is negative if there is no carry then result will be negative so let me give you another example here you see suppose we need to subtract this one from this one right so then what we need to do again we're going to write these two numbers zero one zero double one keep it uh, unchanged zero one sorry one zero one zero double one then the next one which one to be subtracted take one's complement of that number one 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 then double zero one take one's complement just take one's complement one's complement so on taking one's complement uh, just alter the one to zero zero one this to zero becomes one one right then again triple one then triple zero so now we need to add these two numbers then adding these two what are we gonna get one then zero one carry zero one carry then zero one carry this is one this is one uh, as you can see here also we have same number of bits six bits six bits six bits that means there is no carry if there is no carry then your result should be negative okay so there is no carry so then what happens uh, there is no carry no carry then you have to take the ones complement again you take the ones complement of this sum okay so there is no carry that's why take ones complement and if there is no carry then this result will be negative right one so how to take one's complement make the one zero make the zeros one right these three zeros are made one then remaining ones are made zero so this is the result if there is no carry so it should be negative so this is the result of so this is the this is the result this is the answer of subtraction of these two numbers so now let me explain how to use the two's complement method now let me explain uh, how to use two's complement to subtract two binary numbers okay suppose we have to subtract uh, this number here you see uh, suppose we have one uh, 0 1 1 0 1 uh, we have uh, from this number we need to subtract suppose 1 double 0 1 1 0 right so here you can see in order to subtract these two first we're going to take the two's complement of this number which is going to be subtracted okay so now you see let me write this way 1 0 1 1 0 1 and 1 double 0 double 1 0 Right. we need to subtract these two so first write the number this number from which we need to subtract so write that uh, keep that one as it is okay 
1101101 then take the truth complement of the number which want to be subtracted so how to take truth complement uh, it's very simple truth complement so what we need to do when you take truth complement of a number suppose this is the number uh, here you see let me show you first uh, how to take truth complement this when you move from left uh, sorry right to left right right to left then you see unless and until you get the first non zero digit uh, you, unless and until you go get the first one just uh, don't make any changes okay don't make any changes then after that uh, you know make the ones zero and uh, make the zeros one okay so uh, here you see so 0 1 these two are kept as it is uh, because here now we are getting the first one then after that this one should be made 0 and this 0 should be made 1 and then this 0 should be made 1 then 1 should be made 0 okay that's how we use 2 then what we have got taking after taking 2 complement we have got 0 1 1 then uh, 0 again 1 then 0 now what do we need to do we need to add these two numbers okay we need to add these two numbers just add these two numbers just wait uh, let me do a little bit of arrangement here okay. so here yeah, what are we gonna do we're gonna do add okay add these two numbers then what do you really I hope you know the addition so that's going to be 10 1 carry then 1 1 again it will be 0 1 carry right we have uh, got extra one we are getting extra one right so here what do we need to do just uh, discard this uh, one okay just uh, discard this extra one then you will get the result so the result you are getting here 0 0 0 1 1 1 so this is your answer 1 0 1 1 0 1 minus 1 double 0 1 1 0 so this is your answer right that's how we apply the two's complement in order to subtract two binary now numbers. let me tell you one more thing if you don't get carry one here okay uh, let me give you another example of uh, this uh, okay uh, so let me give you another um, example suppose we need to subtract these two numbers okay so here we have taken the same example we have taken uh, before that uh, in one's complement so here you can see so first save again we're going to take the two complement of this number right one zero for uh, write this number as it is one zero one zero double one then take the two complement of this number okay so how to take the two complement of this number so here first digit is one so keep it unchanged okay so till the first one we don't uh, have to change anything then after that you need to change every digit you have to alter zero to one one to zero right uh, so first you have zero zero so one one then again one 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 so it will be zero 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 so this is nothing but two's complement right two's complement so now add these two numbers then again here we're gonna get zero one one ten then carry one again it will be one one carry then again zero one carry uh, zero one carry here one then here one so here you, you see we are getting the same number of bits okay uh, we are getting the same number of bits as we have here in these two numbers so that's why as there is no carry again we need to take the two's complement of this number right so take the two's complement of this region two's complement so again till you get uh, unless you get the first one don't make any change keep it same then change all the digits 0 to 1 1 to 0 
okay so this is the result uh, in this case if you don't get any carry if you don't get any extra digit then your result is negative so this is the answer of this two this is the difference of these two okay so hope you have understood this that's how we need to subtract okay so let me write it properly just wait so that means subtracting these two 101011 minus a triple one zero double one then one is equal to minus double zero triple one zero so this is our answer so hope you have understood how to subtract two binary numbers using two's complement and one's complement okay now let's move on to the next question so this is the same question number but uh, we have an alternative question either we have to solve this solve this first one uh, or we have to solve this one right so draw the logic circuit diagram of a full subtractor and find out uh, its outputs and uh, draw the truth table okay so let's so start. suppose we have to subtract these two numbers and here uh, you see in full subtractor we're going to have three kind of three types of uh, inputs and uh, two outputs uh, suppose let me take this inputs are x and these inputs are y and here you see uh, to subtract 0 from 1 when you subtract uh, 0 from 1 uh, there was uh, no steps before we have done it uh, so here you see uh, in order to subtract 0 from 1 we don't need any borrow so that's why uh, here it's uh, difference is 1 this is the difference this is one output so these are inputs right these are inputs and this is difference and this is output okay so one more input is required so here you see one we are subtracting one from one subtract this one from one so here also we don't need borrow so uh, again we're gonna write borrow in is zero this is another type of uh, another uh, you know input okay borrow in is also another input okay so here you see in this in previous case we haven't take uh, any uh, we haven't taken any borrow so that's why borrow in is uh, zero in this case so here we are getting one sorry zero then uh, you see uh, again now in order to subtract this so here you see in before doing this step in this step we haven't taken again uh, any uh, borrow so that's why again borrowing is zero this is also input uh, but in order to subtract these two we have to take a borrow from here so that will be borrow out okay this is another type of output right so here uh, now in this case we're gonna write um, borrow one borrow out one and here so on taking borrow this this becomes one zero one zero minus one that's going to be one right so again here before we perform this step here you see as in the previous step we have taken uh, borrow one so here borrow in for this step borrow in for this step will be one then uh, then here it is becomes zero zero so it will be zero right so that's how we used to do so let me go to the truth table here then you will better understand uh, okay so first let me make the truth table and now here you can see uh, first the uh, inputs let's put 0 0 uh, first uh, in x column put four zeros and four ones okay then in y put uh, two zeros two one alternatively two zeros two ones then again two zeros two ones okay then uh, put zero one zero one alternatively okay that's how we used to put then find a difference and borrow out okay now here you see uh, so how many different types of combinations uh, will form here so that depends on how many inputs are there so as you can see there are three inputs 
so 2 to the power 3 is 8 so we have got 8 different combinations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so hope you have understood this so now you can see now here you see these are the three inputs uh, x y and borrow in and these are the two outputs okay these are the two inputs inputs and these are outputs outputs right now let me complete this table how to complete this table here you see in order to complete this let me take here x y and before taking borrow in let me take here x minus y then difference then borrow out so for the first step here you see x is 0 y is 0 borrow in is 0 and difference between x and y that is 0 and difference between x minus y and borrow in that is also 0 so here we have got 0 and there is no borrow involved so uh, borrow involved means uh, here you, you can see 0 minus 0 there is no need of borrow and here also we don't need any borrow so that's why borrow out is 0 right so in the next step 0 0 1 so 0 0 then borrow in is 1 so in case of 0 minus 0 there is no requirement of 0 uh, sorry borrow so and 0 minus 1 in case of 0 minus 1 this is smaller minus the greater then in that case we need a borrow out and difference between 0 and 1 is 1 then in the next step here you can see 0 1 then borrow in is 0 so here you see difference between 0 and 1 that is 1 as we have 0 minus 1 form uh, in this case 0 minus 1 generally minus 1 right so in this case we need a borrow out right because this is the smaller one this is the bigger number right so sign before the bigger was negative here so we need a borrow so borrow out is 1 in this case so whenever you get 0 minus 1 case then always borrow out will be 0 okay remember that then again here you see this one uh, sorry this 1 minus 0 so that's going to be again 1 right then in the next step 0 1 1 sorry 0 1 then borrow in is also 1 again we are getting 0 minus 1 situation so that's why borrow involved so borrow out is 1 and uh, then difference between 0 and 1 is uh, that is x minus 1 and so here it is uh, sorry it should be 1 and difference between these two ones is uh, 0 so again we are getting 0 here and let me go to the next step 1 0 borrowing is uh, 0 now sorry this is the borrowing borrowing is 0 so this is 1 minus 0 situation in this situation we don't need any borrow but here the difference is 1 then again 1 minus 0 situation then again difference is 1 there is no borrow involved so borrow out is 0 so again uh, now come to this step 1 0 uh, then uh, 1 okay 1 0 and borrow in is 1 so this is 1 minus 0 situation so don't need borrow so 1 minus 0 that's going to be 1 and again 1 minus 1 situation no need borrow then difference is 0 borrow out is 0 here so then 1 1 0 here 1 1 0 borrow in is 0 so difference between these two ones is 0 difference between these two zeros is uh, uh, 0 no borrow involved so borrow out is 0 and the last case here you see triple 1 this uh, x is 1 y is 1 and borrow in is 1 so here difference between these two that's going to be 0 and then oh, again yes, we are getting here 0 minus 1 situation so 0 minus 1 that's why borrow out should be 1 and difference between 0 and 1 is also 1 so now let's put the values of uh, difference and borrow out here so in these two columns okay in these two columns so we're going to put those values so let me complete this table now let me explain how does this full error work uh, with the help of example suppose we need to subtract these two numbers so here you see this is the first step so here this is gonna be our x input x this is gonna be our input y and there will be another input that is borrow in borrow in right borrow in in this case wait just wait let me write here borrow in and borrow out this is the output borrow out is output and here and another output is difference okay so these are the three inputs and these are the two outputs so here you see as this is the first step and this is one minus zero situation in this case no borrow involved so 
our borrow output should be zero and difference of one and uh, difference between zero and one is one okay and borrow in depends on in the previous step that uh, the step you were doing uh, not that one uh, in the previous step if you have any borrow but here you see as this is the first step there is no previous system so borrow in will be zero in this case so here we are getting one minus zero so one minus zero where we have got one minus zero. this is one and zero one and zero x and y one and zero here also we have x and y one and zero but here we have borrow out is zero so borrow out is in both cases in these two both cases uh, borrow out is zero and difference is one here is the difference is one so we are doing this step okay and in the next one 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 here you see as in the previous step as we have got borrow out zero so borrow in in this step will be zero okay so borrow out of the previous step is your borrow in for the next step for this step okay so this this borrow out is the borrow in for this step right so hope you have understood this and difference between one and one is uh, zero again right zero and there is no borrow involved so borrow out is again zero okay so here you see in this step so as in the previous step that means and this uh, in this step borrow out is zero so borrow in will be zero in this case and zero minus one situation difference is one and as we have zero minus one situation so there must be borrow involved so here borrow out will be one right so x is zero y is zero uh, sorry y is one zero one zero one so this is the situation zero one and this is also zero one so here we have got borrow out one so in both cases we have borrow out one and we have got differences one so here we have got differences one so that means it indicates this step right and borrow in is zero here you can see borrow in is zero right that's how we do okay next step is one and zero so here we have seen that borrow out is zero in the in the previous step so here for this borrow in is one because you see in the previous step we have got borrow out is one so for this step borrow in is one okay the borrow out in the previous step is the borrow in for this system right so borrow in is one and x is one y is also uh, y is zero one comma zero sorry uh, x is equal to one y is zero one zero so these are the two steps where one zero involved and as borrow in is one so we are going to take this step right so here you see sorry this is it here you can see x is 1 y is 0 and borrow in is 1 right and borrow out is here you see in 1 minus 0 there is no borrow involved so there therefore borrow out is 0 and difference is here 0 because this one is uh, borrowed here right this one is borrowed uh, doing while doing previous step this one is borrowed so that's why here the difference is zero so hope you have understood this okay now let me make uh, let me use kmaps for d and b out okay uh, so for first for d so here you see as we have got three inputs so that's why uh, x y and borrow in so uh, how many boxes required two to require three that's gonna be eight right so uh, let me make the cam app here this is the cam app so this is the cam app for d here we're gonna put x and then b and i b i y and b i so uh, just wait okay uh, so x zero one then here we're gonna put zero zero then change only one bit zero one then change the other bit 
one one then uh, we're gonna change this last bit one zero okay so so here you see just you know from going one step to another step just just only one bit is change okay so here zero zero from here to the next step only one bit is change so if you write here one zero and one one what happens this zero is changed to one one is changed to zero two bit will be changed so that's why we don't use to write uh, one zero here okay so hope you have understood this logic okay now uh, what we can do so here you can see let's uh, put those uh, you know results of t here so what we have got 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 right so 0 1 1 then we don't put this one here okay first fill this first two blocks then fill the last one then comes to this one okay so that's the way we used to do uh, 0 1 then one then again next digit is zero then again one zero zero one right one zero zero one okay so just wait no, sorry okay so this is the kmap so here you can see in kmap we used to pair make pairs adjust in once but here we have no such situation to make pairs so here you see this one and this one these two are not adjacent so similarly these two are we cannot say diagonally adjust and we cannot take diagonally okay we cannot make pairs diagonally so this pattern if you get this pattern if there is no you know uh, pairs involved okay or you cannot group then this must be uh, of this pattern d is equal to then you have to use the x or x or this x plus x or y x or x x or uh, y x or b i okay so this gonna be the result of d simplified form is uh, of d is this x x or y x or b i okay so now let me do the same thing for b i b input sorry b output not input b output here so we have got three outputs so again similar type of table should be made here also again we're going to use the input x then y b i okay so again zero 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 one then one one then one zero then so here yeah, this is zero one okay so now let's uh, put the values of b naught here so this is zero so zero then one 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 then come back to this one then again zero zero fill the first two then zero fill the last one then one fill this one okay so now let's make pair this is one pair right for this pair what gonna be the expression so b naught uh, sorry b output is equal to for this pair as you can see there is zero x equal to zero so we're gonna use x bar x naught right then here we have y bar and this is y so this two gone so we can ignore this y so then bi here also bi so x bar bi then let's go to the next pair this is another pair so here uh, you can see this is x bar and x these two gone so we can take y and bi so y b i and plus the this is x bar b input b i okay? then plus this 
then the last pair is this this is the last pair so for this here we have x naught then y b i then y b i bar mm -hmm. that means b i naught so here this b i and b i naught gone so we have only y here right and here x bar so this is the result we're gonna get this is the expression for uh, b output right this is the expression for b output so now let me write these two results uh, in the on the next slide okay let me go to the next slide so we have got d is equal to x xor y xor b input then uh, we have got b output borrow output x not b i plus y not x not y then we have got uh, y b i that is the result we have got uh, i have changed the order probably i have written this one at the end it uh, doesn't matter wherever you write but uh, okay this is the expression uh, okay so now let me make the uh, you know logic gate for this uh, full uh, subtracting so here first let's uh, make the three inputs okay just let me write this one here okay so first let me write the three inputs this is x this is y and this is borrowing right so let me make three input lines right these are the input lines okay so now here you see this is for x and this is for y so we have xor between this so let me use xor so this is x xor y right okay so then we have x or bi so so let me use here again another x or right sorry let me use here another x or so this is gonna give you x x or y x or b i right and that that is nothing but the difference okay that is equal to d right that is equal to d that's what we have got now let me draw for borrow out in this case here you can see we have x naught x naught so we used to know uh, we have uh, to use a not get here so let me use here not get right this is not get so which uh, give you x naught so first x naught bi then x naught y so this is the x naught and this is y let me use another color for this this is y right so uh, here we have multiplication so we're gonna use the end gate okay we're gonna use the end gate here so this is gonna give you this this is gonna give you x not y right this is gonna give you x not y then again we have x not bi we have x not bi this one first one x not bi we have done this now we have x not bi x not bi so this is x not this is bi again use and get here so this is gonna give you 
x naught b i then last one we need y b i so y b i just wait so let me make it a little bit longer y b i so this is y this is y right and this is b i this is b i let me use another color this is uh, sorry this is bi okay so here again we're gonna use the end gate and this is gonna give you y bi that means borrowing okay so again for these two we're gonna use the or gate because we have plus sign here okay not actual plus sign so in case of plus sign we use or gate this is your or gate this one plus this one then again plus this one so we have to use another or gate here right okay so sorry. Uh, this gives this uh, this gives some of these two right this one gives you x y x not y plus x not b i and uh, here you see th this will give you x not y plus b x not b i x not b i plus y b i so this is the result we're gonna get at the end so that means it's gonna give you b not right borrow out so this is the logic get that uh, we have drawn for the full subtractor so hope you have understood this now let's move on to the next question so this is the next question here draw the logic diagram of half header okay and write the truth table so generally uh, half header it's a uh, two bits okay uh, of binary digits so here you can see first uh, let me draw the write the truth table for this so block diagram should be something like this this is suppose half header half header so then we have to put two inputs a and b it can add two bits of binary numbers so then you will get uh, two output one is sum another is carry okay so that means uh, here you see if you add one plus one then what do you get one zero right so here zero is the sum one is the carry okay as only it can two bits so uh, uh, so we will get uh, only uh, we're gonna get uh, two outputs here one is sum another is carry here so uh, let me draw the truth table okay let me write the truth table so here you see okay so this is suppose input a and this is b and this is sum and this is carry so when you put zero zero then sum will be zero carry is also zero when you put zero one then you will get uh, sum one carry uh, zero then when you put uh, one zero then sum is one then carry again zero then you, when you put one one then you will get one so if you see if you observe this two uh, a b and sum if you observe this this is the truth table for so this is the truth table for exclusive or right exclusive or or you can say x or and here you see zero 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 when zero one then also zero when one zero zero then one one then only we we are getting one this is that is uh, you know a truth table of n gate right so so that is why this is the truth table this is truth table 
of half header then what will be the logic diagram here you see so now you can see logic diagram so first x or for the sum x or so we have to draw this symbol this is the symbol for x or so here we have two inputs one is a another is b right two inputs a and b so here we have got the sum okay so so that is the sum here okay so then again we have KDU as well this is right so these are the points where connections are made and carry right so this is a this is c so here we're gonna use the end gate right and gate this is the symbol of end gate right this is the symbol of end gate and these are the points of connections so end gate so this is nothing but a b right end gate and this is the result carry and this is the logic gate uh, this is the logic gate of half header logic diagram of half header okay so hope you have understood this so thank you for watching and remaining questions will be solved in the next videos so stay connected and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded and if it is already uploaded it must be appearing at the end the screen end of this video if it is not uploaded yet then you have to wait it wait for it and if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel and share with your friends and help me to grow my channel thank you for watching see you in the next video